Hello, friends. So, <laughs> hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Um, it is Metroid Dread Day. Many people have been asking me, and no, I, I have no plans to get the Switch OLED model because I don't think I'll get enough benefit out of it to spend the extra money. You know what I mean? But I have been very excited to play Metroid Dread. But I did a bit of a risky gamble with it. So obviously pre-orders always sell out of everything super fast, all the time basically. That's just that's just how these things go. This morning was I just checked Best Buy's website and it was not even like early in the morning. It was like 8.30 and I just checked Best Buy's website and the special edition of Metroid Dread as well as the Metroid Dread Amiibos were in stock. Uh, not in store, but for uh, online order. So I placed an order for each, but the thing is they won't get here until tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually head over to Best Buy once they open. They open in about an hour and a half from now. And just gonna play it, play it by ear, see if they've got it in stock. If they have those things, I'll just buy them in store and cancel my orders online. This gamble I, I took because of what happened with Skyward Sword. Uh, with Skyward Sword, the Amiibo, the Joy-Cons were sold out everywhere for pre-orders. And then day one, the release date, everywhere had them in stock. And they had tons in stock and it wasn't actually hard to get them, at least not here. And so I was like, okay, like it's, it was, it seemed like retailers giving a big F you, big middle finger to scalpers. That's what it seemed like to me. Like scalpers bought up all the pre-orders and now they can't sell them because the retailers have them in stock, right? Um, so I thought that just very well may be what they're doing this time as well. So I'm going to pop over to the store. Uh, I've been refreshing the website to see if the stock updates here, but it, it doesn't, it does not seem to be changing here, but I, uh, I'm going to pop over to the store today. Hopefully we'll get our, our copy special edition, maybe Amiibos. Th that's the hope. That's the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, what I'll do is I'll buy the game so I can play it today. And then when my special edition shows up, I'll return the standard edition that I have. Wish me luck. Hello friends. So we're going for a little walk. That's what I love about the city I live in too. It's such a pleasant walk. You know, everything's a little bit local, close by. But there's tons of trees and a salmon creek and I don't know. Even this is one of the busier roads in my neighborhood. It's not that busy. <laughs> so, at least not right now. It's not rush hour, so. I'm almost to the store now. And just so excited. I, I don't think I'm gonna get very much work done today because I, I can't wait to play this game. I think this is the most excited for a game I've been since Breath of the Wild. And I just, uh, like keep getting this feeling in my gut, like, like this, this rumbling feeling, like I'm just gonna pop with excitement. It's, it's, uh, it's very exciting. I've made it to what some may call the mall. It's not too busy looking, so. We'll see how this goes. So I was inside the mall on my way over to Best Buy and I start, I happen to be passing by EB Games and I glance in and I see that they've actually got everything I needed, uh, everything I was looking for in stock. So I said, let's well, screw Best Buy. I'll just pick it up here because I'm right here and I don't want to chance it. Imagine going to Best Buy and then it being out of stock there and then I've missed my chance when I double back to EB and they've sold out or something, right? So, I got the special edition, I got the Amiibos, and uh, life's good. So now, I'm just gonna get home. We're gonna unbox all this business. It's gonna be great. Here we are. It's, it's time. All right, let's take a look at everything one by one. So the first item here, actually are these pins that uh, that I got for free to go with the game. Uh, they look pretty nice. Uh, we got Samus 
and the Emmy robot here. I think GameStop in the States got the same pins, I'm not sure, but this is the ones I got with EB today. So pretty nice, uh, pretty nice pin set, I guess. And here is the Amiibo. You guys probably know this already. I really like my Amiibos. So <laughs> I'm very excited to uh, crack this open. I do have another one on order to keep in box, but we'll open this one up right now. Now, just for the sake of um, being able to use my hands, I'm just switching over to my webcam here because I can't hold the phone and do this at the same time, but uh, it was just gorgeous. Here's the box here. So you're back side of the box as well. Oh, these amiibos are really detailed too. These are really, really detailed. Let's, uh, let's open this up here. So I know if you guys saw my Loftwing amiibo bo unboxing, you guys know I have sort of a method to try and minimize the damage to the box, which I don't know why I do because I end up just taking it apart and recycling it anyways. But we get right in the corner here, peel the corner back and you get a finger into opening and then you just peel apart the plastic from the cardboard and if it works which it doesn't always then you should have sort of minimal damage which I didn't do oh my gosh oh well that's fine this is the one I'm gonna recycle uh, the box for I think Ooh. Don't worry. Like I said, I've got another one coming in the mail uh, tomorrow. It should arrive. That I'm going to keep in box, so. Okay, here. We are. So. Here is the Emmy, who, uh, this is a pretty big Amiibo, but it looks fantastic, honestly. Actually, it's funny, there's a little bit of, uh, like the light, uh, when you look at the eye, it reflects a bit of light, too. Almost looks like it glows. It doesn't, but it almost has that look because of the way it reflects the light. Uh, and these have the blue base, just like the Samus Returns Amiibo, as well. This is cool, it stands on like a piece of like shrapnel or metal or something as well. Wow, very detailed, beautiful amiibo. Okay, here's Samus. Again, also very detailed, gorgeous amiibo. These really like put the wave one amiibos to shame. They really do. It's a, it's a great looking amiibo, it really is. Wow, wow, fantastic. And of course, this is the special edition, which by the way is massive. It's way bigger than normal Switch cases. Um, actually, for reference, for, for reference of how big it is, here's the box for the Explorer's Edition of Breath of the Wild, which is the size of a game case. So it's it's huge, it's a big box, but it looks so cool. It looks shine, like this is raised a little bit and the, the shine on it, oh, it's beautiful. All right. See how big this thing is? It's huge, it's big. Okay, okay, that's cool and shiny as the front looks. You can see the, low, the way the light shines. The back is also freaking so cool looking. Oh my gosh. Now I hate it when boxes seal the, the box with one of these little stickers here. Uh, I hate that because if you try and peel the sticker, it's not gonna work. So we're just gonna try and carefully I don't want to ruin the box, so we're just going to carefully cut just the little tape. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh man, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. You know, I don't get a lot of special edition games, typically. All right, so this slides out. Oh, baby. 
we've got in this little tray that slides out. The steelbook case for the game itself. Oh man, that's nice. Okay, look at this. We got like a the the logo, got like a Chozo design. And look at this. Oh man. That is so beautiful. Even this little tray is nice. It's got I'll take that out. It's got this imprint. This is the Emmy like watching. So cool. So cool. All right, this something else. Or those scissors. Again, I don't want to damage this too much. You know what? This soft plastic here, we can... I can just rip. That's fine. It's not going to damage anything else. If I do. I just don't want to... I don't want to tear the book or anything by trying to cut it with scissors. Alright. Here we go. Metroid. So these are the little art books for the 2D Metroid games. Alright, so first one here. Metroid. Or it's just this? It's just this. It's just like one single panel. Metroid 2. Very cool artwork, by the way. My favorite, Super Metroid. My, one of my favorite games ever. Metroid Fusion. Great piece of artwork as well, actually. And, of course, now, Metroid Dread. So good. Alright, so let's put this... I thought these were going to be, like, books. Little art books, but it's just, like, a single thing. Just a little disappointing, actually. But, still very cool. There's more in here, though. Ooh. There's a whole... There, this is the art book. Mission Logs. Oh my goodness, guys. This is very, very high quality. It's so good. Look at the way it's the matte and then the reflective. Or the, the gloss, I should say. All right, let's have a look. Let's see what's in this book. These cool red patterns like similar to what we saw in the trailer. Ah, this is the stuff I was thinking of. Metroid, okay. Some art of Samus from, this is actually the, the sort of designs they had for the original Metroid, which they didn't stick to very faithfully. Got some monster designs here. From these, the baddies of the first Metroid game. Including Ridley and Kraid looking a little derpy in that game. But you know what, that's NES style artwork for you. Here we go. Samus, or Return of Samus, Metroid 2. This is sort of where they, I think, finalized Samus's look. And they've kept faithful to that design ever since. That's the Samus we all know and love. More creature designs, the different sort of life stages uh stages of life with the metroids here they they redesigned these slightly to make them more threatening looking in the remake samus returns i wonder if we'll get if, if there's any of that in this book more enemy designs samus's ship of course also looks cool super metroid beautiful beautiful guys oh my gosh again more of samus looking Samusy. Metroids. Ridley Craid, everybody looking. There's Ridley and Mother Brain. Everyone's looking a little uglier than normal in the best way. The Eticoons. Uh, we've got kind of a general sort of map, which is cool. Satorian, Brinstar, Norfair, uh, I guess Meridia, and the wrecked ship up here. Sort of a vague map. <laughs> a vague, oversimplified map. Metroid Fusion, which we actually just streamed. With the SAX behind Samus. Oh my gosh. So freaking cool! And of course, the Samus' ship in Fusion we're, we're gonna see carried over to Dread. 
Some bosses. All right, zero mission and Samus returns. This is a little hard to hold this book up like this. But, oh man, so good. There's the zero mission stuff. Here's the Samus returns renders of Samus, which look fantastic. I love them big old shoulders. Look at this. Oh, that is a that is an incredible piece of art. That is truly spectacular. Spectacular. Ah, there we go. So now here's the redesigned. Oh well, there's Ridley and the Digger Knot and the redesigned Metroid Life Cycle, which they look just so much more threatening, so much scarier looking. Um, it's it's very well done. Very well done. They did a bang-up job with that game. Metroid Dread. So freaking cool! That's a great piece of art. We've got Samus Renders, which I've seen all over Twitter already. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. You know what? I, I almost worry about getting into spoiler territory with some of this stuff. So I might stop here with the art book. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just stop here with the art book, because, I mean, this looks... That's, that's freaking wicked. So wicked. But that's, uh, I don't want to get into spoiler territory before I have a chance to even play the freaking game. So we're gonna, uh, close this up for now. So this, this, this stuff looks and feels so fantastic, so gorgeous. Like, they, they really, they really put a lot into making this a high-quality sort of uh, special edition. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with this. So freaking nice. So we're streaming this game tomorrow, Saturday night. So I hope you're all looking forward to it then. Um, thanks you guys for joining me on this little adventure and unboxing video. And uh, let me know if you're picking up this game. I'm, I'm so excited to get into playing this game. So I will catch you guys all very later. I'm gonna edit this as quickly as I can because if I finish editing this, the sooner I do that, the sooner I get to pop that cartridge in and play the game, so. Anyways, guys, I love you all. I'll catch you all um, sometime soon, very soon. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to take a quick second to say thank you to the lovely people who supported me on Patreon, as well as my channel members, particularly those who supported at the cheese level or higher, which includes Tetra, Brenda, Justin, Callie, Finley, Grey Mage, Hylian Historian, Gale, and Ethan3G. Thank you so much for the support, you guys, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.